What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Raymond Chaka Forever. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today, I'm about to do the video. Before I get into that video, I want to remind everyone that I leave a link to a different playlist in the area description box. Check the channel, click on those links, run the views up, run the thumbs up up, run the comments up. And if you feel the need to share the playlist, feel free to share the playlist. If you like my channel, find my channel useful. Take a moment to subscribe and turn on post bell notifications. That way, YouTube will notify you every time I upload a new video. Today I'm about another video. Today I'm sharing my thoughts on Corey Comparator identified as man who was who, who lost his life after shooting at Trump rally. Yes. Um America been spending so much time focused on Trump getting shot, you know, then they forgot about the firefighter that was that was shot and killed as well. And I want to bring acknowledgement and awareness to this as well. Corey Comparator was identified as a man who was killed during the assassination attempt on Donald Trump's life at a rally in Pennsylvania. Yet, Going into PA governor, Comparator lost his life while protecting his family from the gunfire. He reportedly dove on them as a shield. He dove on his family as a shield and was shot. Now, they haven't said was he shot by Secret Service or was he shot by the... The attempt, the attempt, the assassin. The governor spoke with the wife of the victim and his two daughters after the conversation. The governor said Corey was a was a girl dad. Corey was a fighter fighter. Corey went to church every Sunday. Corey loved his community, most especially Corey loved his family. He describes Corey as an avid supporter of the former president who was so excited to be there last night with him in the community. The governor offered his prayers to. The other two individuals who were still critically injured. So it sounds like four people were shot and only, only two died. You know, it said the prayers to other two individuals who are still critically injured. So two was critically injured. And Trump was injured. So three was injured and two died. You know what I mean? That's just, that's just crazy. I don't know um, if all of this was shot from... The attempted assassin that tried to kill Trump or the secret services shoot the other three people? It, it leads to a lot of questions. It's sad to say that a firefighter protecting his family was caught and was killed in the crossfire. You know, was killed in the, in the crossfire doing his duty to protect his family by all means and ended up getting killed in the process. And as I said, I want to Send my condolences to his family, his loved ones, his community, his firefighter team. And not to mention, I don't recall Trump even speaking on this or having seen nothing online where Trump said any remarks to his family. I know his wife, Corey Comparator, Comparator his wife declined a call from, from Biden and wanted to send, talk to her and I guess saying his condolences and whatnot, she denied that call. I guess she's a hardcore Donald Trump supporter. But, you know, it's just sad that they're supporting Trump to the fullest and haven't heard from him as of yet, haven't heard no statement he made towards the others that were shot at his rally. You know, it's just, it's just crazy. Like, you, you supporting Trump to the fullest and yet Trump haven't made a moment to send his condolences to you. Haven't had a moment, haven't taken a moment to speak out. I'm pretty sure he had many moments to spare, but haven't took the time to do so. And I just want to share my thoughts and bring light to it and bring acknowledgement that a firefighter lost his life in the process of protecting his family at the Trump rally that led to an assassination attempt on Trump life. For a shout out, my shout out video the last Sunday in July, y'all tell me how y'all felt the situation. And I will give you a shout out, my shout out video the last Sunday in July. If you like my thoughts on this situation, take a moment to subscribe and turn the post bell notifications. That way YouTube will notify you every time I load a new video. I do leave a link to a different playlist in the every description box. Take a moment to click on those links, run the views up, run the thumbs up up, run the comments up. And if you feel the need to share the playlist, feel free to share the playlist.